a court, King's Court, and you have all the ministers and prime ministers, yeah, ministers and prime ministers, and you have ordinary citizens at the back. If the king says, all of you stand up, all of you kings and ministers stand up, yeah, very specific, did not include the citizens, guess what? The minister stands up, prime minister stands up, everyone stands up, as well as the citizens. Why do the citizens stand up when the command was not for them? It's because they understand that if something, someone is higher than them in rank already, the command is included. You don't need to include with people who are lesser in category. They automatically, if they were supposed to stand out of reverence and respect and so on, who are we? Yeah. compared to them nothing that's why commands of god to the angels even though it wasn't directed to satan because satan was not of the angels for answers elsewhere he was yeah. of the jinn right but he was included in the command because when he was together with them even though he wasn't just direct, directly in this way because god because god is only implied so you don't need to command explicitly like that this is an implied implicit command because elsewhere god says what stopped you from prostrating when i commanded you and what the, at that time what did he please say no, no, very important for you to reflect when god said at that time late i don't know location please please what prevented you from prostrating when I commanded you? It's Amartuk, when I commanded you. If he didn't say, oh, but you didn't command me, he had a different response. And his response was something like, you know what, you created me from fire, he's from clay, I'm better than him, and so on and so forth. So he understood that in the initial setting, he was included in the command. So there is no some kind of ambiguity, illogic and irrationality here. It's, it's misunderstanding how in the Arabic language, how the Arabic discourse is. So the Quran, let me finish. No, 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 I'm not finished. The Quran has a special type of discourse. For you to appreciate this, you need to really go and understand the linguistics of the Quran. The Quran sometimes connects two verses without a connector. You know, sometimes I say, um, I will go and then with an end conjunction. Quran uses connectivity without a connector. Because 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 because, the Arabic because is not good. no because the Quranic Arabic is it's so it's so it's a look. No, it's about it's the bad. Um, you're not letting me finish, and you are just interrupting and making yourself as a fool. What I'm saying is Quran. Quran, Arabic. Quran do you know Arabic? Arabic speaker know that. Do you know Arabic? They know that Quranic Arabic is bad. Hang on. Do you know, do you know Arabic? <laughs> one, one second. Do you know Arabic to make that judgment? I don't know Arabic. Good. Then don't but, make any judgment. So many, so many Arabic speakers know that Arabic. Okay. The, 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 apart from the Arabic, is, is, apart from is the Arabic. apart from the bigoted Christians who okay. speaks Arabic, yeah. which Arabic linguists say the Quran is in bad Arabic? Yes, yeah, they can't say that because they say that in public. No, not, no, non Muslims. Go on. Yeah. Tell me which non Muslim yeah. Arabist or linguist in Arabic language knows Fusha Arabic, says okay. is Arabic is bad. Okay, let's let's prove it. Yeah. Let's let's prove it. No, no, before you go and prove it, you don't know Arabic, so you can't prove it. No, I can prove it. In no, you cannot. In English translation. No, 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 no. No, no. Uh, okay. Let me prove that. Fadl, fadl, fadl. Let me prove that. Fadl. Fadl. In um, Arabic, you know, you know, Arabic is bad. Quranic Arabic is, is bad. You know, all the documents, all the documents in England and France and Europe, they translated them in Arabic. You know why? Because Arabic is uh, a very... Uh, uh, yeah. Very what? Rich, rich and never change. Change. You cannot change Arabic. Okay. okay. What's your name? Chapter one. What's chapter one one two. Rogers. Chapter one one two. Rogers. Rogers. Let's read it. One let's second. Read, let's read chapter one one Rogers, two. Rogers. One moment. All of you know it. No, no. Rogers. Rogers. Let's read that. Rogers. Rogers. One moment. Before before you proceed in mm -hmm. demonstration, yeah. you will only demonstrate through the English translation, right? Correct. Yes. Right. That's what I'm saying. Stop because from. Wait, wait. Let me make my statement, and then okay. you can have your response. Stop doing that because you are not judging the. Arabic, you are judging the English translation. So you are already in a weak position to judge the Quran because your judgment is based only on a translation. Okay. Right? So this is not a fair... Listen, listen. This is not a fair way of dealing with a linguistic 
excellence of any language by judging it through a translation. Do you follow? If I want to say, say for example, what language Greek is so bad, and I have no clue about Greek language, yeah. only thing I have is some translations, then people will say your approach is faulty because you cannot make a value judgment on a language that you're not familiar with. Do you follow me? Does that make sense? Yeah, exactly. One second, brother. Does that make sense? I, if, if you want to explain a language, right, and from another language, which language will you use to explain the other one? No, what I said, does that make sense? It doesn't make sense. Okay, what part of what I said it doesn't make sense? Because you're trying to tell me that you cannot explain Arabic with English. You don't know what you don't know this. No, I didn't say that. To try again. What part of what I said doesn't make sense? Well, repeat what you said. Okay, I'll repeat. You cannot. I was listening. Uh, I want you to listen now without okay. getting interrupted. Mm -hmm. I cannot make a value judgment of a language which I'm not familiar with. Okay. Making a value judgment or a translation is not going to do justice to the language because all you're doing is looking at a translation, however faulty it is, yeah. whatever good it is, or eloquent it is, or faulty it is, and you're making that judgment. Okay. To appreciate a language, you have to know that language. Mm -hmm. So to make an aesthetic judgment, whether the language is beautiful, eloquent, bad, whatever, mm -hmm. you need to know this language. That goes for any language. Okay. So you not having any proficiency okay. in Arabic language, mm -hmm. You are not in a position to make a value judgment about how good or bad it is. Do you follow me so far? I follow you. Does it make sense? Yes. Yeah. Now listen. Good. If I have a local language, I have a local language from my country. Yeah. And um, I want to explain. I want to explain a sentence to you. And you have like five different people that understand that same language, and all of them gives you a particular explanation to those to those words or even if it is not word for word but all of them point to the same thing will you say all those people were wrong just because you yourself don't understand the language therefore those five people cannot give you an idea of what that language is saying absolutely not they're, they're not going to be wrong what, then what, what, wait 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 wait, wait 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 um your name because was again? What was your name? George? Rogers. Rogers. Just because checking. I want to prove to change his name. From the right. Rogers. Rogers. What did I say? No, no, Rogers. You said initially Rogers, Rogers. I thought you said Exactly. I said George wrongly. So Rogers. Rogers. So if you get a many translation and they say similar things, then you have an approximation of a meaning of what is intended in the original so language. Go to Surat right. class Wait. and see that Quranic uh, Arabic uh, is well. Uh, wait, wait. There are so many examples, but uh, at least this one. Before, before you say the proof, look, before you say Quranic Arabic is wrong, um, yeah, yeah. some of them, not all. Uh, look, I'm part of it. You, you already, you're already saying things which you're not even understanding. Yet. Some of it. You cannot say a language is wrong mm -hmm. without knowing its linguistic nuances. If a language allows language allows to write something or use a particular word, both in masculine and feminine, and you come across a word which is masculine, say, oh no, that's wrong, because it should be feminine. Then you, can I? I have not even given an example. Rogers. And you're already, you're just trying to, you know what I I'm am, talking about. Uh -huh. That is why you are struggling so hard. I'm not struggling, Can't Rogers. You just, I, I've I'm, not said anything. I'm, I'm giving you, I'm, I'm giving you. Allow me to give you an example. Go ahead, say, okay, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Make, 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 make a point. I said, make a point. Some enough of, talking, some, enough talking, make a point. Some part of Arabic, uh, Quranic Arabic is wrong Arabic. I have seen someone called his friend that is also an Arabic speaker, gave him a sentence in Arabic. Mm. The friend said, no, this sentence is wrong. This should be here, this should be here. Then he said, this is in chapter this and this. And he said, oh, Read it's it. correct now. It's correct. It's correct. That is how Muslims do. If you ask them questions... Rogers, Rogers, enough talking. Show not, me what you're talking about. I have no feeling. If you meet a Muslim and you ask them simple questions, and they don't know that it's in the Quran, they will say the normal thing. By the time you say that actually it's in the Quran, they'll say, oh, yeah. Yeah, actually, no, it means this, it means that. Surah the class, chapter 1, 1, Yeah, what about it? Let's read it together. 
No, I'm not going to read how it together because you don't know how to read Arabic. How can I read it in Arabic? Arabic? Why will I read it in Arabic? Read the translations. Yeah. I'm reading translations. Yeah, go ahead. Translations. Yeah. What else? How can I read it in Arabic? Say, is God the one, the most unique? That is Muhammad Ali. Chapter 112. Read it, dude. And all those other craps, yeah? Yeah, what, 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 excuse me? Say, stop, stop, stop. Are there what crap? Okay, these are that thing. Apologize. Um, no, say, apologize. So who? Yes. All of us. All of us. All of us. You're calling this a... Do you know what, what crap means? Yeah. You speak English? No. You're colonized by the English, right? And you don't even know what it means. Let us continue. Now, what does the word crap mean? Let us continue. No, I'm not going to continue. What does the word crap mean? What does it mean in English? Do you know English? Do you know English is the question. With respect to who? No, what does it mean? You can say anything you want. I can't be offended. Why are you... Why are you why are you our, 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 our Brother, it's okay. We're, we're what, what does the word crap mean? We respect our. We do respect you. Yes. Yes. We respect our Quran you? and everything. Of course. I'm reading English. I'm not reading the Quran. The Quran. What does the word crap mean? You don't say crap. I'm reading. It's okay, brother. Patience. What does the word crap mean? I'm reading. You can check the English. No, you tell me. Do you know English? What does it mean? I don't think it does. I don't think what? it does. Do you know what it means? I don't think it does. I don't think you know. You've been so much colonized by the British, yeah. and you don't even know what it means. What does it mean? You can tell me. No, no, you used the word. Without knowing what it means, you used it? Let us, let us. No, no, you tell me what it means. What does it mean? They don't know what it means. They don't know what it means. He's going to read me English translation, which he doesn't even know what it means. What does the word crap mean in English? You tell me. I didn't use it, you did. Apologize to him and then so, so we can listen. Apologize to who? Did I offend you? Well, yes. 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 Did I offend you? Yes. 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 Take off your glasses and have a look. Yes. Oh, you're offended? Yes. Take off your glasses and have a look. Are you, are you offended? I'll tell you. Take off your glasses and have a look. Why will I take off because glasses? you're not seeing it through these glasses that you're wearing. Yeah, man. I'm you not seeing what? Yes. You're not, you're not seeing it. You're blinded. Blinded? You're, you're blinded. By what? Listen, what does the word crap mean again? My friend, if is you it, don't is know this, this how you debate? Debate? what does it mean? What does it mean? Please, I just take my leave. Leave, leave, leave. It's better for you to leave. Yeah, it's better for you to leave. Yeah, 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 it's better for you to leave. You, 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 no, 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 it's better, better for you to leave. You don't want to basic brother, English brother. language, bro. You, you, such an individual that you don't even apologize when you offended so many people. Look at the decency of a human being. A decency, a decent human being will say, oh, I'm sorry, it was not intended. I apologize. But you, not only you're not decent, you are such an arrogant, stubborn individual that why should we be even interested in speaking to you? Leave, take your leave. If you don't want to come, I will draw Let's get What did he say? No, no, hang on, hang on. I, I withdraw it and I apologize. That, that good. Was, Why did you apologize? Because that word wasn't very no, because, good. You know because, word. Because, because was that a bad word? word? Offended. No, no, no. Because you're offended. Yes. Yeah. Because you're so, offended. So if if you are not offended, he will still use this word. Yeah. Okay. Such an individual. Say, <laughs> say, he is Allah. Mm -hmm. Who is one? And the, the Arabic word there is Ahad. Okay. Oh, you know Arabic. Yeah. Don't divert the conversation. In that same chapter, verse 4, the last verse, the word Ahad is translated as this. There is no one comparable to him. No one. Another translator is um, Ahmed Ali. Another one, Ahmed Khan, said there is none. That means Brother, Ahad. brother, brother, patience, patience. That means Ahad. Sorry? Does not mean one. Ahad does not mean one and only. One of. Ahad. One of. Ahad. It's one of or one among many or anyone. You cannot say use the word Ahad. You cannot use the word Ahad for one. Give me the gra grammatical structure of the first verse and tell me why it means what you think it means. Even that sentence is not complete. Many Arabic speakers have listened to them. They said Ahad, using a sentence and ending it with just that Kulu Allah is not complete. It's like you're saying, um, it's like ending a sentence with... Brothers, why, why, why are you talking? Let's refute and debunk like, this guy, right? Like, on, on, on live. It's like ending a, sta a statement with words like, but. But it's not but. No, it's not but. I'm saying I'm right. I'm so now give me the give me the grammatical structure we called the i'rab. 
of this ayah, then I will tell you. It's, it's your body. It's, 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 your, it's now yours to prove. Sorry. That ahad means one and only, and at the same time, it means one of. Um, Rogers, your ignorance of Arabic language, Arabic stylistics, <laughs> okay. Arabic grammar. I hear that all the time. Yes, whenever, yes, whenever and bring, I'm not whenever, surprised. Whenever we bring something in the Quran I'm, and you don't have answers, hang on, 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 hang on. Go ahead. The word ahad, mm -hmm. how is it used in the linguistic constructs? Give me the possible linguistic grammatical constructs in yeah. which ahad can be used and what do they mean in those constructions? Okay, I want to ask you Go ahead. Apart from no, I'm not going to answer anything else. Yeah, I asked you a question. You, you, a question. you answer my Apart question. From, I said, I said, give me the usage of the word ahad in an Arabic sentence, in a grammatical constructions yeah. in plural, and how these constructions make the meaning different or not. You are the so Arabic give me. You are the one that's supposed to tell me that in this sentence it is this. No, no, you said. Because you you in, said. No, no, in the Quran, in the Quran, apart from this verse, chapter 112, verse 1, I had in any other part of the Quran is translated as any of you, one among that's you. That's the problem any again. You. you see, again. Only this verse. Rogers. Because that. Statement. Let me help Quran. you. Let me help you. No, you. you. Okay, my Quran then. Brother, brother, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Now here, look. It's okay. The language on the top. The word ahad. It followed a noun. Immediately followed a noun. Now give me the grammatical rules for that in the Arabic language. What would the meaning be if it followed a noun immediately? It's, it's yours to prove. I don't know. What do you mean, to prove? You are saying, oh, it's wrong. It doesn't mean this, it doesn't mean that, right? Uh -huh. You are, wait, you are making all these claims. Oh, a lot of Arabic speakers say X, Y, and Z, right? Good. So you have all your arsenal of support. Now tell me, in this grammatical construct, when the word I had followed the noun, what does it mean? What should it mean? Can it mean anything other than what it said? Brother, brother, do not help this individual. Let's debunk him and totally skin him alive. No, exactly. see, if I were you, the only way you would have proven to I me, asked you. No. Now we are waiting for an answer, are we? I don't know. Okay. What, I don't know what you're I'm going to keep quiet now. My, one, my question is because you, you don't know I what you're talking about. Exactly. I'm, what I'm talking about is aha does not mean one and only. If you want to prove to me that where do you get that, where do you get that from? Is it the Quran? I showed you chapter verse one and verse four. I told the you. The same word ahad means two different things. Now I'm asking you. Look, look, look. If look. it is, if it does not, if it look, means look. one and only, you should have just go to another part of the Quran. Firstly, Rogers, ahad, Rogers, use this is a fruitless ahad. discussion. Then we'll go there, we'll then, do you know why? Yeah. The constructs of the language. That's, the individual. That's what I'm saying, that's your opinion. That the word ahad is wrong when it comes to that translation. But, but that's your opinion. You do not know anything about the Quranic grammar. Look, but brother, brother, one second. We have an individual here. Think about it. Someone who has no knowledge of Arabic language, linguistics, literature, wait, 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 wait. I know. Grammar, balagha. Do you know, do you know balagha of Arabic language? Do you know Balagha? Do you know what Balagha is? Yes. Do you know Rogers? Do you know what Balagha is? Yes. My friend. My, my Answer the gentleman. Do you know what Balagha is? Don't ask me. I don't know. Exactly. So you don't know. So I'm affirming again this individual claims the Quranic Arabic is so bad while look what he has of his qualification. Look what he has. He has zero knowledge of Arabic language. Okay. Zero knowledge of Arabic linguistics. Okay. Arabic grammar. Arabic literature, Arabic balagha. Then you and, with all and, the and, knowledge, and, and, why can't wait, you just wait. answer that? I just, just told you. talking about me, leave me wait. alone. Talk about your Quran, I man. am establishing. You, you are just going Rogers, around, around. Rogers. Show me that I Ahad means one and only. I already told you. It is not. That means Kulu Allah Ahad is wrong. 
Allah okay. is not one. When you say it is not, Allah is not one. When you say it is not, that means that translation is supposed to be bro, Kulu Allah is one he's of. Confused. You want to know? I know he's confused, but what? we have to help him. He cannot help me. He cannot even help himself. Oh, so stubborn. He can't even help. He can't even help himself. Allah is not one. Listen, Allah is one of. He even said in other part of the Quran that says that he is the best of the creation creators. That means there are many creators. Of course there are. Oh, there are many creators. They're not? Okay, hold on. There's only one creator. And who's that? And it's Almighty God. Who's that? Yahweh. Yahweh? Yes, and who's not Jesus? Allah. Who's Jesus? Not Allah. Who's Jesus? Jesus is the word of God. Did he create the world? Yes, because he's so, the uh, world. How many creatures have you got? Two. Hey, 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 hey. hey, hey, hey. Come again. I don't have to come again. Jesus is the word of God. That's what I said. One moment. And the, the word was created okay. by the word of God. Let me help you again. What are you saying? Let me help you again. All you, of you are laughing. Let me help you again. Do you believe in God the Father? You can't imagine. Hang on. Do you believe in God the Father? Yes. Do you believe in God the Son? Yes. Okay. Is the God the Father the Creator? Yes. Is God the Son the Creator? Yes. How many creators have you got? One creator. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 no. God 